we're Christians. We have been baptized into Christ. We have been adopted into the house of our Father. We have been made sons and heirs of the promise. In other words, everything that matters, all the eternal stuff completely taken care of in Christ. There's nothing that we have to do. Salvation, beginning to end, has been guaranteed by God himself. The Father sent the Son to suffer and to die on the cross and thereby pay the debt of our sin and earn for us a righteousness and a salvation that we could not earn on our own. And more than this, our Lord Jesus Christ has sent to us the Holy Spirit who hands to us that same saving death through word and sacrament and even creates in us the faith to receive that. All of that is taken care of in Christ. That's who we are. At the most basic of levels, that is our identity. We are Christians, redeemed in Christ. And this is ensured by God himself. So then, what do we do now that we're Christians? Well, we don't save ourselves. There's nothing that we can do to add to our salvation. And anything that we try to do to earn our way into heaven or keep ourselves in God's good graces is completely misguided because God is, of course, pleased with us for the sake of his son, Jesus Christ. Instead, we act like who God has declared us to be. We act like Christians. We gladly and readily open our Bibles and listen to God's holy law and try to do our best to follow it, not because it earns for us salvation but because that's who God has made us to be through the death of his Son. We open up our Bibles and we delight in the law of the Lord, like the psalm says. We gladly learn the teachings and the precepts of our God. We seek to serve our neighbors in love and compassion. At all times, we keep a sure confession of the faith on our lips. Why do we do this? Well, because that's who we are now. We have been made Christians, and Christians seek above all to act like the godly people that we are seen to be in the courts of heaven through the blood of Jesus. And so, we take up our cross every day. We follow our Lord into suffering and turmoil, and all the while we do so with joy, singing the praises of God and serving our neighbors, loving them completely and fully, just as our Lord Jesus has loved us. In other words, The thing that we Christians do because we have been saved and because that has been completely taken care of in Christ Jesus, well, we turn around and we live lives of praise and thanks and joy because of that reality. And that thanks and that praise and that joy looks first and foremost like a life served for others, a life lived for others, a life that takes on to itself sacrifice for the sake of others. Why do we do this? Well, this is what Jesus has done for us. This is who Jesus has made us to be. And we delight in these things because Christ's sacrifice is our life and our salvation.